miles away. No, you never turning back. I just can't wait anymore. Miles away. Nothing left but what we had. Just when I needed you most, you were miles away. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Vinyl Countdown. What is this? Episode like 19? Yeah. This is a very important episode. We have a whopper, whopper of an episode today. You want to know why? Because we're doing the W's. Yeah, the W's in the 80s metal collection. You know about that 80s metal collection alphabet. There are certain letters that just stand way out, like S's and D's and things like that. Well, the W's, they stand out as much or more than the rest. There's a lot of great stuff in the W's, and we're going to go over that today. Like I said, it's going to be a huge episode, and we don't have a lot of time because there is a ton of things to see in this episode. Not to exclude another Awesome guitar from the Root Cellar. So you guys, you know, catch up them other guys on this episode about the yeah, Peach is gonna pull out another another uh guitar from the Root Root Cellar. Definitely. Alright. Did I say Root Cellar? No, the wine cellar. <laughs> yeah. We went to pull out another guitar from the wine cellar. Do you understand? <laughs> That's right. So without further ado, let's get going with another episode of the Vinyl Countdown with Peaches. No news today. All right. Let me find a place to put this cup of coffee. Oh, I'm just pumped. The W's are in scene with some of my favorite stuff from the 80s. And if you guys remember that song that I was just playing miles away, I'm telling you what. You know, it came in right at the turn of the decade in, in about that 1990, 1991 range. But I'm telling you, when you're doing a good job, you're doing a good job. And those guys made that song Miles Away from Winger. And I'm telling you, it is one of the top power ballads on the planet. Why? Because I'm a huge fan. But other than that, I don't think you could ever tell somebody how much you miss them in such a perfect way. I, I don't know. It's just awesome. It's hard to explain. I've shed a many tear over that song, Miles Away. Definitely. All right. Without further ado, let's get into the W's. The W's of the 80s metal collection, everybody. All right. No potty breaks. All right. Up first, one of the most well-known, infamous, infamous bands of the 1980s when it comes to hair metal. These guys... Everybody knows them. If you don't know them, you have to check them out and you have to get to at least give them a chance. All right? We're talking about the unbelievable band, Warrant. Yeah, Warrant. Where the down boys go, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, Warrant. Dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. I saw these guys on tour. They were my first concert of my, real concert of my life. Warrant and Poison at the Lacrosse Center in Wisconsin. Definitely. The, this was so awesome, man. I'm telling you. You had, you remember the song Heaven Isn't Too Far Away? Yeah. Amazing power ballad. I'm talking one of the top five power ballads of all time is on this record. Not only is this record super awesome, but it is super, super hard to find out in the wild. And you guys know about our conversations about the wild, you know. And that's another thing I'd like to clear up right now. You know, I don't claim to be an encyclopedia of vinyl or bands or anything else for that matter. I am just a guy out here trying to have fun and share what I love with a lot of other people that love the same thing. Okay, so you're not going to see Siri coming out of my voice. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to just enlighten you and help you out. Maybe you can try something new or whatever. But by no means am I a master of all. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Warrant. Warrant. Give them a holla. Definitely. And if you guys, I'm telling you, Cherry Pie is not sitting here right now. Cherry Pie is one. Warrant Cherry Pie. Do you remember the song Uncle Tom's Cabin? 
awesome, awesome song. And the song, um, She's My Cherry Pie, and then I Saw Red and Then I Closed the Door. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, Jeannie Lane, or whatever his name was, from Warrant, Bobby Brown. Oh, do you remember that chick from Star Search in the 80s? She was a supermodel on the TV show Star Search, and she was featured on that music video, Warrant Cherry Pie. If you haven't ever seen that, look up that song. She's My Cherry Pie by Warrant, official music video. This chick is unbelievably gorgeous in my eyes. As some people may differ, but wow, what a great looking girl. All right, but the Cherry Pie album, not in my collection. Why? Because it is almost impossible to find in the wild. Impossible. It's like you, it's almost an order situation 100% of the time. And you'd be lucky to even get one from the United States. All right, you, you, you pretty much got to go on eBay or some other place and order one that's from South Korea or Brazil or something like that. And I just haven't gotten down to it yet, okay? But definitely, cherry pie is one of my all-time grails, definitely. All right, that's what we have for warrant, everybody. And now, another, another awesome 80s group, all right? Now, you, you had metal, right? And then you had heavy metal, right? Well, back in the day, we kept it all in one category. But if there was ever anyone that was an inventor of shock metal, I don't know if that category even exists. I never even looked for it, all right? Shock metal. You know, I'm not talking about shock rock like Kiss. Kiss was more of, to me, was more shock rock, all right? But for shock metal, I don't think you could look at any other but Wasp. These guys, what a show. What a crazy, crazy show. Do you remember these guys? I think they used to throw meat on their audience. Yeah. Yeah, don't throw a beer. Let's throw a T-bone. Yeah. Wasp. Do you guys remember this? Yeah. What a great... It, they're, they're, they're hard. They're heavy. The lead singer is just growling in your voice, all, in your face all the time. You know, he, he reminds me of the lead singer of Cinderella with nitrous oxide hooked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The lead singer from this group, Wasp. What a great album. If you guys ever get a chance to pick this up, do it. But yeah, real gravelly, growly, dragon voice like, uh, like Cinderella. And while they stood alone. What a shock, shock metal band. I mean, look at this. They're in like saw blades and stuff. Look at that hair. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Definitely. Man. All right. I can't believe this. I left the TV on. <laughs> it's playing through YouTube and it just, catch, it just caught one of my videos by accident. Oh, well. <laughs> Here's another one by Wasp. Have you guys ever seen this one with the skull in the front? Yeah. Do you guys remember? I believe there's a the guitarist from Wasp. His name is, I believe, Chris Holmes. No, not Johnny Holmes. <laughs> Chris Holmes. I think that's his name. All right. Now, this is going to be some stuff that you may never get anywhere else but here, right on the vinyl countdown. All right. So, you got your ears on? Okay. This Chris Holmes dude, I believe that's his name, okay? He was on that documentary uh, from way back when called The Fall of Western Civilization Part 2, The Metal Years, okay? That documentary, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but the lady that made that documentary did an interview with the guitar player from Wasp, Wasp and if, if, if you need a visual, it's the dude she was interviewing in the swimming pool. And he was laying in the swimming pool. And he, he was all wasted. And she was asking him all these questions about his personal life and stuff. And he was just sitting there guzzling vodka like it was tap water. And, and it was just pretty much a disgusting interview. But really raw about what the Sunset Strip was like back then. Okay. Well, here's the kicker. 
he just remade or reenacted that whole interview that she gave him back then, right now. You can watch it on YouTube. Yeah, Chris Holmes redid the interview like in a mock-up of him right now today. And I guess he comes up with this story. In this, he's laying in the swimming pool and everything, and he's got the whole thing there going on. And he describes how he has been sober for 20 years. And he doesn't drink alcohol anymore, and he doesn't do anything bad anymore, and he's just out kicking it like a real sober guy. But if, if you want to, check that out, because I thought it was really interesting to know that you could see you, you could you could see a new interview of that from way back when. And how he just redid it, like it was the actual interview from way back when. Yeah. But Wasp, what what can I say? Their bass player. I don't remember his name right now, but he's a he's he's a blonde guy, and he plays the bass on in Wasp, and he is nuts. The guy is crazy. I watched a, a him playing around in a YouTube video, and he was saying they were asking him, "Oh, what do you think about Wasp getting back together again?" And he's like, "Dude, I'm I'm on the boss, man. All they got to do is call me, and I am on the boss." <laughs> he is so crazy, such a great attitude too. I'm telling you, yeah, this one, look at that. That is true 80s shock metal right there. Big time. These guys wrote the book. They were right along up there with the rest of them. I would love to see, I never got a chance to see it, but I would love to see a Wasp show big time. I think that would just be awesome. Actually, we had we had one on YouTube last night. It was a 2000, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think it was a 2017 brand new video of a reunion thing they are doing. A concert from this year. Yeah, 2017. So you might want to check that out or look it up on YouTube. Look at this awesome. This is kind of over. This is P, This is over PG-13. So, you know, turn the kids around there. All right? I'll give you a second. Twelve inch single of yeah, F like a beast. <laughs> Look at that front cover. What were they thinking? Now, when I say shock metal, is that not shocking enough for you? The guy's got a saw blade coming out of his crotch for cripe's sake. Yeah, there's a Minnesota term for cripe's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, as an adult, I want to turn away. F like a beast, 12 inch single. Got a couple other goodies on there too. Look at that cover. It's flat out disgusting. What were they thinking? Who comes up with this stuff? Shock metal, yeah, I think I hit it. Hit the, hit the nail on the head there. All right, but Wasp, what a band. You know, I, I didn't listen to them a lot when I was younger. But I'm really starting to get back into them right now, and I'm telling you, I think I really do like them. They're like they're like a step above Cinderella. You know what I'm saying? They 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 hit it a little bit harder than Cinderella did. All right, here's another one. They seem to get a lot of hate. White Lion. They also have a big power ballad on this one, I believe. Yeah. White Lion. They got a few albums. They got the pride and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And... But yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not an encyclopedia. But they're just, they're, they're, they were the, you know, the basic run-of-the-mill hair band from the 80s. They had their own stuff. They followed everybody else around. They had some power hits. They had some power ballads. And uh, they were easy to listen to. Good stuff. You know, I, I, I consider them to be like in that... Uh, um, not quite autograph area, but they were a little spit and polished, yeah. Kind of uh, middle of the road. I'd say middle of the road for a white lion there. But definitely part of what you need for your 80s metal collection. You cannot have this face. <laughs> you know, you can't not have it in your metal collection. Just for nostalgia reasons, you know what I'm saying? I don't listen to them that often, though. All right. We are getting to the big guns right now. Big guns, definitely. You guys, you want to talk about 80s metal, some of the most infamous, memorable 
Like all you got to do is hear. You, you ever do that when you when you listen to the radio and three notes from a song comes on and you already know what it is because it's that good. I do that all the time when I'm on when I when I'm on the radio. All right, and I'm sure everybody else does when they hear this band, White Snake. What an amazing, amazing band. Yeah, Vinylizer, it's amazing. Amazing with an N. Yeah, I love it. The Vinylizer loves these guys. If you ever want to check out a White Snake fan, you have to go see the Vinylizer on the vinyl community. This guy is all White Snake. Everything they ever made, down to the last bumper sticker for White Snake. Man. How many hits does a band get to have? It's not fair. <laughs> you know, this is one of those bands where you can say, it's not fair. They get all the hits and we don't. Yeah. White Snake, man. I can't believe it. When you watch the Vinylizer, I'm telling you, he has everything with this group. I'm almost embarrassed to even show mine. You know what I'm saying? But wow. Remember Tawny Katane? What we talked about in the rat, in the rat section back in the R's? Tawny Katane was hooked up with this guy. Yeah. Oh, man. I just All the memories just start flowing when it comes to Whitesnake. Here I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. Yeah. Should have known better than to let you go alone. It's times like these. Can't make it on my own. You guys know all of them. You can't deny these guys. They're like, they're like the freaking Beatles of metal. You know what I'm saying? So popular. And you want to talk about a ton of albums? Back up the pickup truck. White Snake is pretty common around my area, and I'm very happy about that. I can find White Snake in quite a few different caves that I go to. You know what I'm saying? And you need to, you need to, because they have so many albums, you gotta just search everywhere. Because you're not gonna find them all in one spot. No way. You might at some big places like Amoeba. I love how they, they kept that, that White Snake logo all the way through. I love that. I love that, the way they did that. Definitely. Here's one of the really early ones. Warning. Live in the heart of the city. I think it's kind of neat how they kind of redid a couple of their things too. And we got a band coming up here in the W's, which you guys know is one of my favorites. Right here, the backstage pass. Winger. Not too long ago, Red Beach, the lead guitarist from Winger, went out and played with these guys. Along with a couple of other really famous guys that you know. You know. Yeah, big world famous guitarists. This is like a White Snake is probably one of the biggest super groups of, of 80s metal. I would have to call them a super group for some reason. And I think you guys might might agree with me on that. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? But such such a super group of metal. Yeah. Such a great show. And you can go on YouTube and see some full length concerts. Whenever I punch these into YouTube, I put like White Snake full concert, okay, in, in my search bar. And that's how I come up with the really well done concert videos. You know what I'm saying? Where high quality video, high quality sound, where they run everything through the board. Yeah. And it's amazing, amazing stuff. Definitely. They had one where they got together and I can't tell you what the title on it was, but it was a live concert. And it seemed like they played for like Metallica hours. You know, we you can go by Metallica hours when it comes to concerts because they're so awesome. But uh, yeah, they played for a long time. And that, that Coverdale, he's, I wish I had his voice. I wish I had Coverdale's voice. That's all I can say. I mean, that's all I can say. I get so speechless when it comes to such big bands because it's it's hard to come up with a new memory for them or a new way of looking at them because they have been so talked about with me and my buddies, you know, and amongst all of you guys that 
it's hard to come up with something new for White Snake to talk about. You just can't. One of the most awesome albums from White Snake, and this was the hardest one I I could I had to find. I didn't stumble upon this one until kind of recently. Not common around here. This is probably the hardest White Snake one I've I've come across to find. Had to go all the way down to Madison, Wisconsin for this one. If you guys ever want to go to a really cool record store, Strictly Discs in Madison, Wisconsin. Strictly. Like the rules, you know, strict. Strictly Discs. Down in Madison, Wisconsin. You go down, they got a stairway going down into the basement. You know, the dungeon. And 10,000 albums. I'm telling you. It's, and they do such a great job of organizing them and categorizing them and making them look sweet. So if you're ever up in the Wisconsin-Madison area, check out Strictly Discs. Among the eight or nine other awesome record stores in that city. I'm telling you, it's great stuff. All right, that is all I have for White Snake, and I am honored to show them. Even though Vinylizer, I don't have near as much as what you have for White Snake stuff. I just want you to know, and all you guys to know, that I love White Snake just like you guys do. It, it, they're, they're unbelievable. What a career. All right, here's another one. Not ex I'm, not, I'm not in totally alphabetical order here, because I wanted to save the best for last. No. <laughs> You ever heard of this group? Warrior. I'll show you the back. Another 80s metal band. Not too com I mean not too common. I don't find these guys everywhere. And they sound great. You know, it was almost a blind buy for me and Mrs. Peaches. Because uh yeah. They're they're not that popular, but I'm telling you, we like it. We like it a lot. It's another one of those things we discovered on the on the violent community. You know what I'm saying? Warrior. I don't know if you guys have this one or not, but I would I would suggest it. If you like 80s hair metal, or if you like 80s metal, period, whatever. Definitely give it a try. Definitely give it a try. Let's get this one out of the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is Peach's number two band in the world. I'm super excited. I am super excited. I don't... Words are hard to come by when it comes to this group for me. You know, you guys might think they're just another flash in the pan, and, and they've been known to be that. Just another flash in the pan. I'm not going to deny that. Around the musical world, they're like, you're like, who? And how they've gotten made fun of in the past and all that stuff. But I cannot believe what an awesome group these are. This, these guys are, because there are some really good musicians. All right, and that band is, if you don't know by now, Winger. Very, very few people talk about this band on, on, on the VC. And I don't think a lot of people know this band on the VC. All right? This band was, uh, came out of the closet, so to speak, in, uh, in, uh, in, in like 87, 88 times. Okay? And Kip Winger is the lead singer of, of this band. His name is Kip Winger. And Kip Winger came to the surface through uh, being under the wing of this guy, Alice Cooper. He, he joined Alice Cooper's band to play bass, and I think he did some background vocals and things. And, and that's, where he got his, that's where he got his chops, you know what I'm saying, with Alice Cooper being in his band. And then he went out and started this band called Winger. Now, this band, Winger, was not originally going to be called Winger. And there's a tie here, all right, to Alice Cooper. Why? Because if you look on, people call this the self-titled album. Some of the techie guys call it Sahara, all right? Because Kip Winger's into this desert thing all the time. I don't, I don't know, but here you go. The, the band was going to be called Sahara, all right? Not Winger, okay? The original name for the band Winger was Sahara, and under... The guidance of Alice Cooper, from what I have heard, from 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 the guidance of, of of Alice Cooper, he thought that Kip Winger should make a little bit better decision and just call his band Winger. So that was the band got their name under the suggestion of Alice Cooper. So it was kind of Alice Cooper's idea for him to call call it by his last name, Winger. 
And, and I'm, I, I'm totally awesome with that. This album is probably one of my all-time favorite albums, okay? It has that song 17, Madeline, um, It's Time to Surrender. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a cover tune of Purple Haze, you know? Uh, you know that song, Purple Haze? Oops. And uh, just some great songs. And, and the, the re, the, one of the big reasons why I love this band is that um, it, was, it was my high school deal, you know, where my hormones were all freaking out and girls started getting to be important in life. Well, this, this whole album is about girls and the way girls are and the way girls can be and the way the girls should be to you anyway. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's all about maybe not, maybe not the, maybe the word relationships, maybe not, you know, proper, but it definitely is about a guy that's really hurting in his heart. And, and it's a, a lot of it is about girls and the stories about them that, that, that breaks his heart. Okay. But that's what the album is, is kind of about. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, love this band, love this band. All right. Then they came out after that. <clears throat> with such great success from that first album, they came out with a second album, and uh, that one is called Winger in the Heart of the Young 2. Okay, this is the song that had I Can't Get Enough of You, Baby. If you ever get a chance, look that, that video up on YouTube. What a sexy video! That, that's got 80s written all over it. Yeah, Can't Get Enough, Easy Come, Easy Go. Who has a metal a metal song with horns in it? You don't hear that very often. Yeah. Easy come, easy go. Uh, can't get enough. And then the one of the most awesome power ballads on the planet, Miles Away. Miles Away got very high on the charts. I can't remember if it actually hit number one at one time or not. But that song, Miles Away, yeah, the one I was playing at the beginning of the video, is unbeatable. Unbeatable. It made me ball my brains out when I was 17 years old. You know what I'm saying? And this one right here, I got special. It's signed by uh, one of the keyboard rhythm guitar guys, um, Paul Taylor, which, which is the original member of Winger. And there's him signing the album with a Sharpie right up in the corner. It's kind of a visual evidence thing. Yeah, but man, I hold this band very, very close to my heart. I guess it, part of the reason too is because it was a little bit more mature lyrics than than you know Molly Crew and Rat and all that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I kind of hold held them a little bit differently. Well, what we got here, I'm, I'm trying to scoot this along a little bit. Um, here's some stuff from Winger that I have on my wall. There's a pass to a, a, a Kip Winger goes out right now and he tours with the band and he does his own acoustic shows. So you can probably see one or both if you want to. One of those tickets is from a sh uh, an acoustic show, and the other one is from an actual concert that we went to. And there are a few pictures there from the concert. There's Red Beach in the corner with his mouth wide open. He's the lead guitarist. There's me and Mrs. Peaches. VIP backstage pass. There's a picture of me with the winger band. Hope the glare's not too much. There's... Red Beach again, slamming on that guitar. And then there's me me standing in front of the band holding something out. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm holding there, but we'll get to that. All right? And then there's another picture of uh, Red Beach. So, yeah. What a blast. What a blast. I have seen Winger and Kip Winger several times in concert. In fact, the last time I saw them was last summer in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin at uh, a uh, fishing tournament. Yeah, they show up for a fishing tournament. But they, they get some pretty big shows, don't get me wrong. I mean, they're filling up places. Here's another 8 by 10 signed. Kind of a, not a photograph, I guess, but a little memorabilia there. All signed from the winger band. Then here's a really cool thing I keep on the wall as well. It's a gold 45 all signed by the band winger really neat i like it a lot got it for a gift for a gift 
Definitely. And then I can show you another. Here's a here's another one I keep on the wall. It's another really big picture of uh, me standing in the middle of that whole band. And I got all those pics at that concert too. Yeah, this is back in the dressing room for the Winger concert. And this was probably, what, 2014 maybe? Yeah, this is a few years ago. But definitely. Yeah, you guys are... They're aging pretty well, I think. They're doing okay. But they hit the road so much. Winger hits the road a lot, a lot, lot. Definitely. And here's a, they're still on tour right now. You can probably go see them just about anywhere. There's a 25th anniversary Winger shirt. The whole shirt is signed by all the guys in the band. Got some buttons on there and stuff. You've probably seen me wear this shirt in a few other videos. Definitely. Yeah, cool Winger shirt I got there. And then, <laughs> I can't believe YouTube's still playing in the background there. This is awesome. All right. Another guitar from Peach's guitar collection. Yeah, this is an Epiphone 2. Epiphone special. Kind of a really dark tobacco burst type deal. Got I uh, customed it out and put some EMG pickups in there. Active pickups. It's all stock other than that. But then you see around here, here's all the Kip Winger, Red Beach, Rod Morgenstein. Yeah, you can see there's all of their, you know, the picture I was telling you about where I was holding something standing in front of the band, it was this guitar. And, and I had asked them to sign it for me. Yeah, there's all the signatures from all the guys. Yeah, one guy's Sharpie was kind of screwed up. That's why it got all thick. But hey, I'm not going to complain. And then on there it says, To Jason, Friends Forever. Yeah, Kip Winger. Woo! Love this. Love this guitar. I promised him when I, when, I, when I had him sign it. I said, I'll never sell this, Kip. I looked at him right in the eye. And here's another thing. When I, when I had Kip sign this, he brought me up on stage. That was one huge thing about this that I'm freaking out about, all right? He not only signed my guitar, but he brought me up on stage. Kip Winger, I was on stage with him, right next to him, in concert, and he wanted me to play air drums for his song. So I got up there, and I'm, like, pretending to play drums, and I'm singing along with them, and it was a blast. Everybody was laughing, having a good time. Great guy, though, Kip Winger. And if you don't know this, Kip Winger has a brand new, one of his dream, dreams came true. He's a composer as well. All right, Kip Winger, is a, he's, a, he's a composer of music. He finally got a rock opera made. It's completely awesome. I don't know if you guys want to go check that out, that out, out online too, but it's about some, it's a rock opera about Jack the Ripper or something. I haven't checked it out in detail myself yet, but Kip Winger does all the music for it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so excited. But yeah, Kip Winger does all the music for this, this new rock opera that just came out. Um, so you can go online and check that out. And I, I haven't seen the opera yet or whatever, or the play or whatever you want to call it, but it, I'm telling you, it's got to be just awesome. Yeah, I didn't really have a lot of fooling around on this episode today because it's a huge episode. And I don't want to take up any more of your time, but the W's are huge for me. They're huge. And I love these bands. So, I hope you guys had a, a good time. We're still trying to figure out a, 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 a contest for you guys. Uh, me and Peach, Mrs. Peaches, we haven't come up with a decision yet. So, we're going to have that 100 subs contest. And don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom, all right? I want you guys to have a great night. I'm Peaches, and this has been the Vinyl Countdown.